CataractCoach.com, is Femto Faco better? Let's review this important publication. There's a lot of hype around laser-assisted cataract surgery, but does it even make a difference? There's a randomized controlled trial comparing femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery versus conventional FACO surgery at 12 months. The authors are from the UK. We have Nick Stenochik, Harry William Roberts, Vijay K. Wag, G. Peng Olivia Lee, Kayam Naderi, and David P. O. Brart. Now, it's a single-center, prospective, uh, randomized case-controlled trial. 400 patients are, are, are randomized to either having laser or not. This is with the LensX platform. And here's an important point. It was all free. No one had to pay for anything. Because this is a, a, a government hospital in the UK. There were no differences in the vision, refraction, adverse events, or patient questionnaires between the two groups of 12 months. That's very important. Now, there's only one difference that they saw, and that was with the astigmatic incisions. But those are an average of 1.4 diopters of corneal astigmatism, and you and I both know we'd rather do a torque lens if it's more than a diopter. But here's the paper. It was very well performed, very, very nice study. And the patients, again, didn't have to pay for it, so the patients weren't biased one way or the other. And it's single mass because the patients didn't know what they were going to get, but obviously the surgeons knew. So the baseline patients had the same kind of uh, profile in both arms. The surgeries had the same results, same refractive um, outcomes, same patient uh, responses in terms of questionnaires. There were really no differences in everything except for femtosecond laser created astigmatic treatments, but remember an average of 1.4 diopters. But looking at the two arms of the study, the way they conducted the study, you got to commend them. So keep in mind, this is yet another paper. Now there are hundreds showing you whether or not there's actually a significant difference for the vast majority of our patients of having a femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery versus a manual. And the answer is, there is no difference. So I want to commend the authors for a study well done. It was a very enjoyable study to read. Here's again that end showing the astigmatic analysis, which we've already addressed. But this is an important piece of documentation that shows us do not be swayed by hype. In summary, the results confirm those of previous research, and that's that there's no clinical advantage of femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery. Therefore, in addition to that previous evidence, there's no economic benefit, and it's difficult to justify using it in its current form and clinical setting unless further evidence arises to support its usage. End of story. All right, let's talk about femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery. Now, I'm always a fan of having more tools in the toolbox, but think about this. Despite more than a decade of use and hundreds if not even a thousand published papers about the topic, there's still some controversy as to what are the potential advantages or disadvantages of using the femtosecond laser to assist in cataract surgery. This paper is important because it's a, it's a prospective, randomized, single center trial with experienced surgeons, no newbies here. And the patients did not have to pay for any aspect of the cataract procedure, laser or not. And the authors found no differences in the vision refractive outcomes, adverse events, or even patient reported measures, whether or not the femtosecond laser was used. There was simply no difference. Now, the only part they did find one little difference was, was the treatment of astigmatism in the cornea using an incisional approach or a femtosecond laser approach. So mild difference, but there was a difference. But remember, the mean astigmatism was 1.4 diopters. And we both know, above a diopter, the patients are better served with a toric lens anyway. So what's my take on this? If you're an experienced surgeon, for more than 99% of your cases, there's no benefit to using the femtosecond laser. However, for those surgeons who find it challenging to create a capsulorexis or difficult to chop the nucleus, well, maybe the laser can help produce more consistent results in their hands. So I encourage you to learn how to use a laser. It's nice to have access to one, but really, for most patients, there's no upside. And if I was going to have cataract surgery tomorrow, I would not require a femtosecond laser for my cataract surgery. I just want a great surgeon. We've told you here many times on Cataract Coach that hands are much more important than the machine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. 
And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.